much has been said about prayer that we might even think that it's a little bit of an overused topic and yet it's still critical and relevant to our everyday sustenance and existence. You know, I think that most of the time when we think about prayer, we think in the context of going to God and asking him things, uh, asking him to do things, literally kind of ordering him around. You know, we, we have a tendency to think that we know what will solve our problems and it creeps into our prayer life. God, if you could just do this and do that and do this. And, and yet I'd like us to stop and think today about the fact that when you pray, God draws near. And in the silent part of our prayer, he begins to answer us. He begins to reveal the hidden things. Yes, prayer reveals the hidden things. It builds us up. It keeps us in right alignment with God. And it cements our relationship with him. There's something about the comfort of knowing that you have a friend who's powerful, a friend who can solve your issues, a friend that you can share what's on your heart they can give you an answer and when you can't do anything about it, they can step in and do something for you. That is the role of our Abba Father God. It's not just about going and telling him what to do, but literally drawing close and asking him. What should I do? Uh, one of the stories that scared me in the Bible a long time ago was uh, when Joshua met up with some strangers on the way to the promised land and they had disguised themselves because they wanted to form a covenant with him. And it says that they actually were enemies that had disguised themselves and Joshua rushed into the covenant without inquiring of the Lord. Scary stuff. Without inquiring of the Lord and later it was revealed that they shouldn't have made covenant but it was too late. How many times have we jumped ahead of God and not asked him about a specific situation and then found ourselves entrenched in something that we really didn't want to be a part of? So prayer is not just about fellowship, it's about intervention, it's about receiving instruction from God and clarity on the issues of our lives. He invites us to come into his inner sanctum and fellowship with him, have a conversation, break it down, listen to what he has to say to avoid the pitfalls of life that are unnecessary. And yet again, prayer is not a magic formula. It's not going to make God wave a magic wand and fix things for you, but perhaps he can just instruct you. Is prayer relevant today? Yes, every day. You need to live and breathe it. Not just early in the morning or late at night, but throughout your day, stay in touch. Get instruction on an as needed basis. And that can be second to second, minute to minute, or hour by hour. He's there for us and we need to celebrate our access to him and take full advantage of spending time with God. Did you like that? I know you did. So if you want more on a daily basis, make sure that you subscribe. Yes, subscribe. And don't forget to hit on the bell so that you can get notifications every time I post something new. Help a sister out. Subscribe, girl. Subscribe, guy. Subscribe.